Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In uh, this video I'm going to introduce you with uh, Database Inspector and uh, show you some examples of uh, how you can use it to inspect and uh, debug your database in a running app. So uh, Database Inspector was uh, introduced with uh, Android Studio 4.1 version and uh, it's a great little tool which can help you inspect, query and uh, modify your database in a running app and uh, all of that from uh, Android Studio interface. So uh, for this example we're going to use uh, my to-do application from uh, GitHub so you can find this uh, link uh, in the video description and uh, you can just uh, copy this uh, project code and uh, import that uh, into your uh, Android Studio. Okay, so uh, once you open your Android Studio and uh, this project, you can access a Database Inspector down below. So here you have a Database Inspector section. Or uh, you can just go to View, then Tool Windows, then a Database Inspector here. Okay, so basically that's the same. And uh, I'm going to run this application in uh, Android emulator now. Okay, so there it is. So uh, in order this uh, database inspector to work, uh, your device needs to have an API level of 26 and higher. So as you can see here in this uh, emulator, I have uh, already added some items in a database. And uh, when we open this database inspector, uh, from the top we can choose our uh, emulator device, then we can check the package and uh, then down below we're going to see our database and all our tables inside. So here uh, we have this uh, default uh, table, so just uh, skip that and down below we're going to see our database named uh, to-do table, okay? So uh, when we double click on this table, uh, our table will appear on the right side here. And on the right side we can inspect our uh, database table and see all our items which we have. And uh, down below you can also see the columns which we have inside this table. So we have ID, title, priority and description. Uh, okay, so uh, on the right side here uh, we have uh, two options. So we have a refresh table and basically this will refresh our table here. So if we add a new uh, item in our database, so let's add a new item here. For example, I'm going to write some random characters here click add button and as you can see a new item is uh, added but we cannot see that here so we can click this refresh table and then this new uh, item will appear and uh, also we can check this uh, live updates uh, option so when this option is enabled values in this inspector tab always reflect your application's live database and are read only so now when we check this option and when we try to add a new item here so let's use uh, different priority and uh, again some random characters and now you're going to immediately see that uh, new item uh, in your uh, table here okay all right so uh, next uh, here we have uh, three options as well the first one is a refresh schema so we can refresh our database schema here if there are some changes uh, next uh, we have this uh, new query tab uh, option i'm going to show you that a little bit later and uh, we have this uh, keep database connections open uh, option so uh, the database inspector can only interact with a database while your application maintains a live connection to that database and uh, that means that uh, if your application frequently connects to and uh, disconnects from a database it can be difficult to inspect those uh, databases and uh, you can prevent uh, database connections from closing by uh, toggling this uh, keep database connections open from off to on so when you click that you will see this uh, yellow icon now this uh, option is enabled so uh, on the left side here uh, we have uh, three more tabs so we have favorites we have a structure and uh, we have a build variants so here we can select the debug or release and in this structure uh, we should be able to see our uh, DAO class so I'm going to open our DAO class here from the project to do DAO okay and now you can see that uh, it appeared inside this uh, structure uh, tab and here we can see all our uh, queries so inside our to do DAO uh, you will see this uh, new icon appearing here on the left side and that means that uh, we can run uh, those queries which have this icon uh, immediately uh, in our database inspector and uh, for example uh, let's select this one so now a uh, new tab here will appear uh, with the name of new query and basically uh, we can create a new query tab just by selecting uh, this uh, icon here and as you can see here we can select a new tab and so on but let's close that for now so here uh, we can select our database and from here uh, we can write a custom sql queries uh, to query our database. So uh, for example, uh, we can test our queries to see if they are actually working. So uh, for example, let's use uh, the sending order uh, in this case and let's uh, run the app. 
so you will see that the IDs uh, will now come from number 12 so let's click run or sorry 13 okay so uh, now with this uh, you can check your uh, database queries uh, very easily and uh, you don't need to to encounter those errors in your application you can just test your queries here before that and uh, down below as you can see we have uh, more queries which we can uh, use inside our database inspector so uh, for example let's click on the this search database query and uh, here sometimes this uh, new query parameters uh, window will appear where you can see the whole uh, statement or the whole query and here uh, you can add the exact value which you want to search so let's uh, add for example music or let's use a lower case instead click run and uh, then you will query your database to find the title which uh, contains the music word inside and there it is so it works perfectly fine so uh, you cannot query all your queries from a DAO interface uh, for example you cannot uh, query delete item uh, update item okay so we can uh, close this now and uh, let's close uh, this one as well so we can also use this icon to open this uh, new query tab and from here we can select our uh, database and we can write some uh, custom queries as well and uh, here we can uh, write our own custom queries so for example let's use uh, select all from to do table as you can see it will appear the name of our table so we can click enter and select that and we can use uh, order by uh, id and we can use for example ascending order so we can run that and uh, as you can see we have successfully queried this uh, SQL statement so uh, bottom line uh, database inspector is a great tool for you where you can uh, test and uh, debug your database you can write uh, your own custom queries to check if uh, they are working uh, fine so for example let's uh, try and uh, use this uh, sort by low priority as well so we can just select this one button and new tab here will appear and we can just click uh, run and uh, you will see that uh, all those uh, items will be sorted by a uh, priority low okay so that will be all for this video database inspector is a simple and very easy to use tool so i hope you enjoyed this video please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one